Hi, this is John Lewis with Realty Executives of Temecula Valley. We're going to look at the do's and don'ts about flipping a property. Well, first of all, you're looking on the outside of the home. Screens, wood, trim, all these things need to be evaluated. This property here has new fascia, but the rest of the house definitely needs a paint job. Okay, we're inside the house. We took a quick look on the outside, and obviously we need uh, paint throughout on the outside, except for the trim has been uh, redone. On the inside, we're gonna go through a few different points on what to look for and then how to price it. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Obviously, the uh, color of the carpet and condition of the carpet has gotta go. Um, the walls aren't in too bad a, in too bad a shape. Um, just uh, a little bit of work on that. Um, I've noticed that the doors are flat and an older style, uh, so we might want to consider changing those out also. And then now we'll go in the kitchen. What you have is old, outdated linoleum. It's got to go. Um, the cabinets, the, the doors themselves aren't bad, but the re-hinge work all needs to be redone. And um, I don't think you need to resurface the cabinets, but they do need to be cleaned and, and, uh, and touched up. The appliances are, are old and outdated, so they've got to go. Um, but the overall ceiling and the condition of the drywall looks like it's fine. Uh, you're also going to find that your, that your uh, fixtures are outdated. So what I would probably end up doing here is, it probably end up, because there's a beam up here, cutting this open, opening this up. It's not a bearing wall. It's very inexpensive to do. And in today's more modern properties, they're a lot more open, a lot more spacious, and you need that bright look to it to grasp that buyer and ha have them want to actually purchase this home. So in the master, the drywall looks fine. Again, we're just gonna change the color, something that's a neutral color. You got a slider to the back. Uh, the ceiling looks fine also. Now we're into the master bathroom, which is outdated. Um, again, the drywall is okay. You got a, a decent oval tub, needs to be cleaned. You need a shower head. Um, and your flooring, again, is linoleum, which is cheap. And we need to upgrade that. And your faucets are, uh, are outdated also. Here we are in the second bedroom. Again, you've got carpet that's got to go. But uh, I don't have any damage to the walls. They're just filthy and need to be cleaned and need to be painted and the ceiling, again, looks fine. At the second bath, we're basically looking at changing the flooring again and painting. Um, a little bit of work around the uh, cabinets with the hinges. That's what makes them look so bad. They need a little bit of sanding and painting. And then around the uh, basin needs a little bit of work. But again, you're not really replacing anything. You want to make sure that the, uh, the furnace is in good shape, and which this one does look good. Uh, that's a very big expense if you had to do it, so that's something you definitely want to check off the list. The home also has an alarm system which is functional and does not need to be replaced. Of course, you also want to look at your water heater. See that it is strapped. It does look like a newer unit. So again, we can check that off the list. We don't have to replace that. One of the codes we have these days is your GFI plugs to keep from getting electrocuted. They definitely need to be tested because that is uh, one of our FHA requirements. When you see a stain like this, you need to call a professional because you don't know how it was made. Water does leave its mark. Okay, just to kind of summarize up what we have here, it's $2,000 to paint the exterior of the property. On the inside, we're looking at about $1,200. Your uh, carpet is going to run us $1,850. And we probably could save a little bit more if we were going in for a remnant because of the amount of linoleum area and stuff with the math you've got a smaller area of carpet. Instead of linoleum, we're gonna go ahead and replace it with 18 inch ceramic tile, which is a very low cost and really has a wow factor to the buyer. In the kitchen, we've got basically a stove to replace and to turn into gas. That's gonna, we're gonna get that under $600 and your dishwasher is gonna run us approximately 325. When you're talking about countertops, here they're okay. If you really, really wanted to get your price out of your home, you can do a slab granite. However, you have to figure that out, not only in the budget, but in a timely manner. 
because you can't just call somebody up and have them take a month to do it. You've got to call them up and have them set up in escrow so they're about to do it right when you close. This property is currently on the market at 198 and is a three bedroom, two bath, two car and is approximately 1,235 square feet. Now let's go look at the exact same model completed. Okay, here you go. Same model home, except for fresh paint, new garage door, couple new fresh plants, and ripped out some of the old plants. What a difference. Look at this outside. You just got a couple little fixtures, doesn't cost a whole lot, but the freshness of it makes a big difference. Let's take a look inside. In this house, we replaced the linoleum with a nice big stone 18 inch tile. As you can see, just for a few dollars of changing flat panel doors to six panel doors makes a total difference. One of the simplest things you can do is a white paint on your baseboards and on your doors, and then a contrast between that and something neutral on the walls makes them stand out, keeps it clean. If they want to paint it a different color, that's fine, but this is a good base. Changing out the basins, chasing out, changing out the faucets, the door poles, and continued the same kind of tile throughout the bathroom, entry, and kitchen. On this rehab, we changed the doors instead of trying to reface or fix the doors. We also changed out the countertops with a common granite slab which we picked up at a nominal fee. The sink was changed to stainless steel and just your everyday Home Depot fixtures were put in, again, at a low cost. The electric stove was replaced with a gas one. The hood vent was replaced with a microwave vent. Some of the older bricks aren't as attractive, so they just merely primered it and painted it. Makes it look nice and clean. Now in the last house we had a door here. So we went ahead and took it out and did a flat jam. Just made it much more accessible and much more open. Now on the last one we had a full wall. What we did is we went ahead and opened it up again with a flat jam, making it, making it a lot more accessible, a lot more open. You need that open feel in today's market. Okay, there you have it. Two completely different properties. The investor put $9,500 into this property and now there's a $50,000 difference. And now that it has all these beautiful features, it should sell immediately. For more information about anything to do with real estate, come to my website at johncelewis.com.